Hey friends, how are you doing today? Hey, I mentioned in my last video here on Eel River Reseller that we had found a new source for product and that was at a bin store where they're selling uh, basically Amazon returns, overstock, that kind of thing that all pretty much comes from Amazon. I believe all of it does. And today I'm going to be featuring some footage from the bin store. Now the name of this bin store is Indie Bargain Bins. It's in Anderson, Indiana, which is just a little uh, northeast of Indy, Indianapolis. And I shot video in there last Friday. We always go on Fridays because that's the restock day. On Fridays, everything in the store is $6. Anything you want to pick up there is going to be $6. So uh, we go Friday, uh, they open at 10 a.m. You really need to get there early though because there's gonna be a line. And for me, uh, you know, I'm serious about reselling. I wanna be near the front of the line. We're usually, let's say between about number 10 to 15. I think we might've been like number eight last week, I don't know. And, and for me, that's just as good as the front of the line because in less than a minute, we, we're already inside the store. But, uh, and you don't have to stand out there. The last couple weeks we went down there, it was raining pretty hard. And uh, we just brought, we had like an umbrella and an ice scraper in the car. You just bring that up there and just mark your place in line. Everybody's pretty good about it. Um, I never experienced anybody trying to cut in front of you or anything. It's a lot of good people down there. I've met a number of them. Uh, I've got a, a few friends that I met, a, some young guys and uh, a lady that goes with them. That's uh, Cole, Quinn, and Elizabeth. A shout out to them here. And uh, they're usually like either right in front of us or right behind us in line or within a couple people. We tend to get there about the same time, it seems. But uh, these guys, they keep uh, messaging me, two of them anyway, Cole and uh, Quinn, are asking me, when's that video going to be up? I think they, they want to see the video at the bin store. So I'm going to work on it today. It's Sunday today. I have a pretty busy schedule. Like after Friday when we came home from the bin stores, I had to watch my grandson for a few hours. And then I was busy listing the items that we bought at the bin store on eBay. Then Saturday is my garage sale day. I go out, uh, really Friday and Saturday, I go out to garage sales, but I didn't uh, go this past Friday because I had my grandson for a while. So that's okay. I enjoy him too. But so Saturday morning, I spent the whole day at the garage sales. And then in the later in the afternoon, we had some people over here and were helping us do some work outside on the patio or the, rather the deck. So I haven't had time to work on it, and Cole was messaging me last night, hey, where, where's that video? Are you coming out with the video? So I'm working on it today. These are good guys. I really like them. We met them four weeks ago, the first time we went to Anderson, and it just happened they were in front of us in line. These are young guys. I think Quinn, I believe, just finished his first year in college, and Cole, I believe, just graduated from high school in this last uh, month or whatever. And uh, Cole's a go-getter. He's a, a manager at a pizza store. He just told me last night, and he, I know he does eBay, and uh, these guys kind of remind, uh, remind me of myself when I was their age, because I always had things going. I always had certain gigs I was working or um, jobs, whatever. So let's get to the video and oh, by the way, okay, also Elizabeth, yeah, she goes with them and uh, I've just met her twice now, but uh, they, I think they all ride together and uh, she's a nice lady, I like her. I, I think she does eBay, but I'm not sure. I know that Quinn and Cole do and they had another friend with them uh, last week, but I didn't get his name, so I'll just say a shout out to Cole and Quinn's friend. So anyway, let's get to the, the video and see, you guys can see how it works at the bin store. Like I say, everything you see on the video there is $6. A lot of it's not worth $6, but the next day, it'll, I think, the schedule is, I think the next day it's $5 and then it goes down to 3 2 one 
I believe that Wednesday is $1 day. And then I think they're closed on Thursday for restocking and they reopen on Friday. I could be a little off on that because I, I really just go for the $6 day myself. All right, let's take a look. We'll see if you guys like it or not. Do you allow filming? I'm ready. Do you allow filming? Sure. It's okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. We're in the bin store now. Let's see what we find. That was definitely here last week. If they still have all the, all the steering wheel covers over here, that's been here a few weeks. Oh, we're both in the same place. A lot of junk today. Man, you're cleaning up over here. What? You got a half a cart already, or three fourths. I'm just picking out tools. Yeah, I do the same thing. I'm not then I decide sure. later. I've only got one thing in my cart, though. Gotta get moving, brother. I know it. I got your friend request this morning. I saw. I finally found you. Yeah, uh, I sent you a message on uh, eBay I, a few I days saw ago. It and then I somehow lost. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. It's easy to lose messages on there, isn't it? I ended up getting to that. Yeah, I'm gonna That's move on. I didn't mean to steal your bin here. <laughs> Guys are flagging. You gotta find them.
to look and see if I can get a second cart, but it doesn't look like I can today. Quite a few people in here this morning. Okay, let's take a look here now. I'm going to use the eBay app to scan. See if any of this stuff's worth money or not. This Revlon, I think, might be worth some money. The box is damaged, but that's okay. Ah, oh, the barcode's covered up. Ah, oh, there's no signal. Maybe if I get... Okay, there we go, there we go. So, Revlon Salon, One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Revlon Salon, One Step Hair Dryer and Styler.
we're gonna look at the sold listings here and see what comes up. Okay, so right here, sold. Searching, the signal's really bad in this place. I'm on T-Mobile, but I've heard other cell providers are also just as bad. It's still searching, hasn't found anything yet. It's probably having trouble getting signal. I think we're gonna pass on this one since, oh, hold it, there we go. No, some of these are only 12 to $14 and the box is damaged, so we're gonna pass. Here's a cer <laughs> cervical massager. We're gonna pass on that. Right. No, that's not going to be worth anything. Okay, I'm interested in these teeth whitening systems. Oh, it's got a barcode too, and I've got several of these in here. I'm thinking this is going to be worth a little money. Oh, $27.99. Yeah, these are going to be worth money. And we're going to keep as many of those as we can, as I've got here. All right, I hope you enjoyed our trip to the bin store. On some of that stuff, I, I just sped it up because, I mean, we were talking like almost an hour's worth of video I took there. And I just wanted to kind of show you what it was like. So you can still tell what's going on on the sped up part, but I just didn't feel it was really uh, worth spending an hour on. A lot of people, you guys would have probably tuned out and gone to a different YouTube video. But I do want to show you some of my sold items over the last few days. I want to start off with one that sold more like a week ago. Because on my last video, I mentioned this item. I said there was like a health item that had sold for really fantastic money. That I picked up at the bin store, not on my last trip, but the trip before. So let's start off with that, and then we'll go over some items that uh, sold just since my last video, or, or the last few days, really. All right, this is the big one that I mentioned last time and forgot to uh, detail. This item has already been shipped out. It was six tubes of toothpaste, very small tubes of toothpaste. It's a brand called Nature's Gate. It was a natural, like a um, organic type toothpaste. The flavor was cream de peppermint. Six tubes of toothpaste. I paid six dollars. Sold for a hundred and thirty-seven ninety-nine, plus eight dollars and ninety-two cents shipping. So I, I was at like a hundred and forty-six dollars on this toothpaste. Believe it or not. I just could not believe it. I listed this Friday night after I got home from the bin store. It sold Saturday morning while I was out at garage sales. I uh, checked my phone while I was out at garage sales. Could not believe it when I had already sold that. Most of the people on eBay who were selling this item were selling it at a lower price of about oh, $105 to $120, something like that. And I was going to undercut their price, but I decided not to because it had been selling so well on eBay. So I decided to go up to $137.99 plus add shipping on top. And it sold within, I'm going to say within uh, 10 to 12 hours, something like that. So that was a fantastic sale. Believe me, when I went back to the bin stores again, I was looking for this toothpaste, but no luck. 
Um, now, why did it sell for so much? I don't know for sure, but I suspect based on my online searches that this flavor has been discontinued because I could not find this cream de peppermint flavor available anywhere online. So probably a lot of people like this flavor and they're just paying up for it so they can get more of whatever is out there. And I just felt really lucky to get it. I hope I find more, but uh, hey, if you guys are resellers and you see this stuff, cream to peppermint flavor, Nature's Gate natural toothpaste, I'd buy, if I could get a truckload of it, I'd be going down to my bank to see if I could get a loan and buy the whole truckload because it's that good. All right, let's see what items have sold recently in the last, you know, we'll say three or four days. All right, now I bought this pair of women's, uh, they called it combat boots, the manufacturer. I thought they looked like they were more for like a marching band or something, but either way, uh, these were practically in brand new condition and I got $16 for them and plus $9.14 shipping. Um, like I say, almost brand new, uh, paid $2 for these at a garage sale last weekend. All right, here we go. I've got another item here. It's a, it's from the bin stores. I paid $6 for this. It's a large airline approved pet carrier with soft sides. I originally had it priced out at $55, but after a few days it didn't sell and I just wanted to flip my money real quick. So I went down to $49.99, which is still a great value. And I think I only paid about $8 shipping on this. It's not very heavy, so uh, very nice deal on that. All right, I picked this up at a garage sale about a month ago. It took a while to sell this. I think it's not a highly in demand product because it's a DeWalt P7DW hog ring pliers. That probably for, you know, hog uh, people that raise hogs, farmers, whatever. I got $25 with free shipping, but I only paid a few dollars for this. So that was a good deal also, although it took a little while to sell, but really, you know, three weeks or so is not very long to hold on to it. All right, I also sold this from the bin store, $6 I paid. This is a mega pack of four rolls of vacuum sealer, um, you know, the, the film for the vacuum sealers that you put food in. $23.99 with free shipping. Nice sale for a $6 buy. All right, I bought these NASCAR die-cast cars at a garage sale about six weeks ago, I'd say. And I bought a whole bunch of them. I bought all of the uh, die-cast cars this guy had. They were from the 80s and 90s, still brand new in package, all of them. And I paid $40 for everything. And I, I think I got about 100, uh, I think 100 or more die-cast cars. On this one, I sold eight of the cars for $30 with free shipping. But I've got one set um, of these die casts, which I haven't sold yet, 21 cars that are more collectible. And those are listed for $129, I believe. So I've got about eight or nine uh, lots of these separated out to sell. So this is going to be a good money maker. I've already gotten most of my money back just on this one sale. All right, here's our next item. It's Old Spice men's hair molding forge putty i mentioned this on my last video now i'm lotting them in 12 lots i was doing six at a time before for 35 dollars i'm offering now 12 for 60 dollars i took a 55 dollar item on this i bought these they're 199 a, a jar but i also had a 20 percent uh coupon for my entire purchase at ollie's and i did get these at ollie's so I've pretty much bought out all of the Ollie's within driving distance here, within an hour, hour and a half from here, I guess. $55 after the offer with free shipping. I make $15 on this. I'm sorry, that's wrong. I made $15 on the other on the other set. 
I make about $25 on this, but then I gave the discount down five, so I'll make about $20, $21. 199 each, I buy 12, and by the time I applied my 20% discount, I was paying about, uh, for the 12 jars, about $18.50 or $19, as I recall. You can do the math. Still a nice sale, and I'm selling sets of this every day right now while I still have stock. Here's an item I bought at a garage sale for $5. It's a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro Flight Simulator Joystick. Got 35 with free shipping. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but it's still, you know, it's, you know, 10 or $12 that I didn't have before, so I'm happy with it. Okay, at our last trip to the bin stores, the one that was shown on this video, my wife, Fama, found another Weber 7130 grill cover. These are for the Web, uh, Weber Genesis 2 and the Genesis 3 burner uh, barbecue grills. Uh, I was getting, you know, 45 to $50 last time. This time I went up a little bit. I was listing them for $56.99. I took an offer of $52, but there's also about $3 shipping on top of that. So, um, that was a good one, I think. I'm, I'm happy with it. These Weber grill covers, within 10 or 15 minutes after our list, I'm getting offers from people. And But my price is right in line. I'm, I'm not like really lowballing it. Most people are selling these for 45 to 50 to $55. So I'm not sure why I'm attracting so many people with these, but this is kind of like the toothpaste. You know, I don't make that much money on it. I paid $6 sold this with shipping for about $55 and uh, you know so I made I don't know $40 or something by the time I paid eBay fees so if I could get a truckload of these I'd take them as well although this will be a seasonal seller it's not like people are going to be buying these in December or something at least most people I mean you've got people in California or whatever that might do that anyway those are my recent sales and uh, just looking forward to doing more I felt like my bin store purchases this week were not as good as last week and I've sold a few things already but there's a lot that I didn't sell yet and that's okay I mean even if it takes a couple months to sell the stuff I'll be making money on it but it's nice to get your your uh, investment back within a few days and I haven't made that yet but I'm okay with that all right, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and come back next time for another edition on the Eel River Reseller. I'll see you again.